That's a nice time of night for a flight. Thought I'd give you an idea of what uh, X-Plane 10 looks like when you're flying on Linux. I really like the program. I like the operating system and the program and everything. It just works really, really well. And this is one of my favorite times to fly. Lots of contrast, <coughs> excuse me, contrast. And I love the rendering. You can see the rocks and the talus slides and the sage. and <coughs> It really looks like this country. Never did like living on the coast. Couldn't see far enough. Oh, I suppose you could see as far as you wanted to as long as you look straight up. But then you'd probably get rained on and wouldn't want to do that very long. You got a nose the size of mine, you'd probably drown. These warm summer evenings like this are the best time to fly. They're just really, really, really fun. Neat plane. Nice program. Another view here. Anyway, if you want to get into that uh, X-Plane 10, it's a wonderful program. And if you want to run it at twice the quality on a lesser computer, then uh, install Linux Mint and you don't have to put up with Microsoft anymore. That's what I did. and. <clears throat> I don't regret it at all. It's just, it's really nice. No crapware, no spyware. Just good, fun flying. And a system that doesn't crash, doesn't lock up, doesn't get viruses. Just a good system. And no more DOS, no more MSDOS. It's all done in. It's all done in package stacking, GNU stacking. It's great. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for taking a look. Uh, this is X Plane 10. Uh, it's 10.05 R1, 
which was the uh, issue, two issues before the present one, which is 10.45. This one was noted for a high consumption of frame rates, uh, extremely bulky, uh, and as you can see, if you follow my pointer, the frame rates, while even recording a video, are well up on it. I'm recording it on Linux Mint. I've got a Core 2 Duo um, processor. If you were on Microsoft with the same program and the same processor, your frame rates would be about half of that. Uh, it's, it's really a shame, but that's... <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. Anyway, let me show you some other things here. The rendering on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. If you look closely, you can look up here at the mountain and you see individual rocks, cliffs, everything separated out absolutely perfectly. If you come in closer to the aircraft, You'll see the, the blind rivets here and here, the little doors, you know, the bolts and nuts, the steps, the bolts, everything, all the pattern lines and everything, and yet very little in the way of aliasing at all, and that's on the lowest alias setting you can put on it. You can see each individual piece of gravel in the runway, uh, in the concrete, or blacktop. You can see those rivets a little better now up in here. And the handle of the door, the little lock, the little hinge mechanism. Everything is just really good. There's a little bit of, little bit of aliasing in here that you can see. But I can take that out with mo one more click, you know, but why do it? it it's not necessary because you're normally viewing like about here, <laughs> you know, so you're not going to see it. Anyway, let's go up a bit. Now you can see the definition up in here a little better. There's no jerk to the cars or anything. Very nice rendering. And that's uh, Linux Mint 18. Uh, it's got just about everything you need in the way of in the way of amenities without none of the without any of the bulk of Microsoft or any of its problems. Uh, everything is handy. You know you can do everything you want to do with your desktop here. You can even get into the root for your uh, to open your program as root. All of your controls are just one click away here. You can get into your entire system settings here and show everything you want to find out about what's going on. It gives your, compo your complete composite of what you have in the way of uh, hardware and software on your machine. You can go through it and, and change all your sound settings. Uh, if you're doing recordings, you can go in and you can uh, you can change your input, your output, everything. And just just at, at a single click, you're there. It's really a good program. Um, Icons, that's about the extent of all the icons I ever use. This one disappears when I unplug or when I remove the disk for X-Plane 10. Uh, this is a video editor that I used to use. I don't even have to use it with this with this Kazam player that I'm using now. That's, it's just unbelievable. There's a video player there, VLC. There's your X-Plane 10 just the bare minimum of what you need. If you open your computer, 
Uh, computer shows you what you've got running. There's your drive that your X-Plane 10 disk is in. This is your main drive. This is your file system. And that gives you all your different boot files, root files, everything. Excellent system. Works really, really well. Anyway, I just, I just wanted to share that with you. So if you're having trouble with your frame rates and you're having trouble with the, you know, getting enough oomph out of your computer to run X-Plane 10, you can still do it with minimal quality quantities of the requirements if you want to install Linux. Linux will install alongside any Windows program going. Uh, but I would just about guarantee you that after a few short days of working with Linux, you'll probably reinstall it and have it do the whole computer and just get rid of Windows because you really don't need it. You don't need the bulk. You don't need the spyware. You don't need the adware. You don't need the bulkware, the crapware, and all the other stuff you're going to get with Windows just because it's Windows. You don't have the third-party assignments and, and agreements going on. Uh, it's just a whole lot better. That's why the uh, Defense Department, you know, the Air Force, the Navy, Marine Corps, they're all using some version of Linux in some form or another from Red Hat on down the line. And there's a reason for it. Uh, the old DOS system, the old MS DOS system is out of date. It's like driving a horse and buggy when everybody else is driving a Ferrari. You know, it, do, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You know, chuck wagons don't replace semis. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just the way it is. You want to haul freight? Get something that'll haul freight. <laughs>